Wait, who said it was a gambling addiction? I never oh, said that. Oh, did that slip out? I just assumed you it. said that. No. We're here at beautiful Monmouth Park to bask in the American Pharaoh frenzy. The Triple Crown winners expected to win the 48th annual Haskell Invitational. That's beautiful, a hat for $173. Do you know the name of the three races that American Pharaoh won to get the Triple Crown? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's the Nina, the Pinta, and no, the Santa Maria. Yeah. It, no. It's not? No. So we're here talking to David, American Pharaoh's training jockey. How are you doing today, Dave? Good. How, how has American Pharaoh been working out? I'm good. That's when I get my money back, American Pharoah. Money? If you're so addicted to gambling, why don't you nah, just move down here? <laughs> if American Pharoah goes off at 1 to 77 and you place a $9 bet on him, what would he pay? If he goes to 1 to 77, oh, not much. <laughs> you're not a math teacher, are you? I am a math teacher. Each day I lose. Money? I've been coming to this track since I'm four years old, buddy. I'm 63. Are you going to bet an American Pharoah? When you, when you, yes, how much money are you gonna plunk down? All you have is A? Gonna be cash? No cash? No? What is this, a home video that you got? During our visit, we stumbled upon some crazy rumors about the exceptional perks that Farrah will be enjoying. So we got here just in time today. They're unloading some of Farrow's special treatment. Here are 715 pillows. I think they're memory foam. They look awfully thick and heavy. Excuse me, how many how many pillows? How many pillows does American Farrow get today? No idea. They, they just said keep, they were told just keep loading 800 thread count Egyptian cotton sheets. No. No way. No way. He's getting special horse treats extra carrots. Do you have any idea what American Pharaoh's favorite snack is? Uh, I would say uh, sirloin. Money? To give an example of the special treatment Pharaoh's getting, this is a stable area where the horses who are competing in the hat school will be staying. It's beautiful, solid metal, 125 degrees outside, roasting probably 300 degrees inside. It's got beautiful grape leaves growing on the outside. And as you see, the spacious interior housed with only the finest food, best decorations, perfect for the horses competing against Pharaoh. We have hay, hay, and more hay. A bucket up there for water, which they can't reach. A little tease, I guess. And then they just can sprawl out all 5,000 pounds of horse right here. Built-in security door, so no horse can get near them. Farrell's accommodations are a little bit nicer. We're going to give you a peek of those later on, okay? Uh, the horse demands sushi for lunch every day. Really? It's a high-maintenance horse. He asked for an iPod with only songs by Drake on it. So we've seen the accommodations for the horses competing against Farrell. What you don't know is that there's special accommodations for the jockeys competing in that race also. Because American Farrell is so special, they quarantine all the other jockeys for all the other horses in this beautiful pen right here. Right before race time, they all get in here so Farrow can have a clean slate getting to the paddock. Now, the jockeys will be here until their horses are ready. It's plenty big, they're small people, and you got nice fence, they can't jump over. It's like a five foot fence, they can't make it. Their little boots get stuck in here, they slide, and then they'll be taken to the race. And American Farrow will be very, very far away, way ahead of all the other horses and ahead of all the other jockeys. So they made all the right arrangements here at Monmouth Park for American Farrow's arrival. What would you give him? All the comforts he needs, a nice, uh, a nice robe for his back. You, so you wouldn't give him any of these things? No. Bags of cash, millions and millions of dollars for Farrow. They know the horse is going to win. Baffert wants his money, and now it's here. They're going to store it in this highly secure facility. I think it's like a, a, a lock, maybe a lock, or maybe a rope tying it closed. It's probably like maybe, what, $100 million? Hundred million. How much money is up there? I don't know. A lot of money. So they're going to store it here in this highly secret, secure location that no one knows. See, see. No one knows about it. Excellent. Thank you. Mammoth Park has been extremely cooperative to give us a sneak peek of the silks being worn by the jockeys competing against American Pharaoh. Only four other horses in the race. Here they are. They searched high and low on Craigslist and found a designer from Sea Caucus to, to design these and come up with this for pennies. I don't know the names of the silks. It's turquoise, blue, red, and turquoise and black. 
don't know which horses have what, but we do know that these are the silks, the actual silks, that the jockeys were wearing. In the end, we really didn't find American Pharaoh's request that outlandish. Let's face it, if Gwyneth Paltrow was running in this race, she would have asked for twice as much. Whatever makes this pony happy, yeah? Whatever makes, it, makes this pony happy to I make think him run. I think he might resent the word pony. <laughs> you better be careful, he's a horse. He's a horse. Pon ponies are ponies, and yeah. horses are horses. Right? Uh, yeah, he's going to pony along, that's for sure. All right, thanks a lot. Right, you're welcome.